Hello there. Rise God Mode here. Bringing you a 74 and 9 gameplay today on Dome, which I don't think is half bad. Seeing them using specialist. 74 kills with your primary weapon. I'm alright with that. Obviously, you've seen the way that we've played Dome before. Um, <clears throat> at the beginning of the game, I like to run straight up to this car and just sort of stop them as they come out of B. Obviously, when you spawn this side, people usually split off two ways. They go straight into C and straight into B. And that's the easiest way to it. They love that grenade, by the way. So what I usually like to do is run straight to that car and stop them as they come out of B. If the rest of my team pushes left, goes into C, takes C, then <coughs> we're off and running. Whereas if I don't stand at the car and let them run down, and there's a potential for us all to get out off, and then we lose C, and then we're running around and around doing ring a ring of roses like you do on Doom. But, and also you can see me, I'm stood here, the A flag is flashing, and I know it's flashing, but if I run down there, I'm not going to be able to stop him from taking it. Um, obviously, on my own, the amount that's run past me, I'm not going to be able to stop it, so what it's better to do at times is just to sort of sit back a little bit, wait until they have cleared off, wait until your team push up from the other side. And clear them off that way. There's no point running in. You don't get any more points for being John Rambo and running in and dying. You don't get a bravery bonus. So just sort of take your time, think about it, and use your environment to help you. you can see, obviously, we've lost C now. So I decided to sort of set myself up in this area in the middle. Um, with our team, we do communicate a lot. I know that they're taking C and it makes more sense for me to drop into this middle area and control it as I've said in previous commentaries in the double knob one. Especially that this sort of alleyway here is the most key part for me on Doom. If you hold this, you'll hold, or you'll hold the map. Now I know that they're taking C so there's no need for me to run across there and <coughs> sort of help out if you know what I mean. There's enough of them there and you can see on the mini map now they're pushing up towards and across it. So I drop back across to give them a bit of assistance while mopping the stragglers up as I go. Because obviously if I keep them on respawn, then there's less chance of them getting into the flag, stopping them. And also from getting behind me. If I know that they're piling out there and they're trying to go for A, I may as well stay here, kill them, keep them distracted, let them get C back. And there you go. Bang. Got C back. Done. And sorted. And this is really my main point. When you're capping a flag, if you have four people on the flag, no matter how many more, if you have five or six, seven, eight, nine, whatever on that flag, it doesn't go any faster. It doesn't go any quicker than what it possibly can. So if there's already three people, four people pushing up for that flag, a lot of the time you can do more help for your team by killing people. Now I'm not saying don't cap any flags at all in the entire game. But you can do more help at times by killing people and stopping them from getting to your teammates. Because obviously when you're capping a flag, it's like you're ringing a dinner bell. And you're pretty vulnerable. You've got to stay in that one spot. You can't move around. Um, you can only move to... And look at this idiot standing on my head. I just want him to kill me so I can go for double Moab. But this game is like a double Moab fail, really. But what an idiot. It took his teammate to finish me off. But anyway, yeah, back to the point I was saying. So obviously at times you just do need to just think about it. Think about the situation that you're in. Think about where your teammates are. And you'll you'll do a lot better and you'll help your team a lot more. And I mean, it's like when you watch uh, competitive. I mean, I don't know if any of you guys do watch competitive gameplay. Um, obviously you have your objective runners. You have your two left and right. And you have your one slayer that just sort of stays in the middle and slays people. Now if you've got six people... Realistically, as uh, me and Anne Foss have said before in previous commentaries, you can have two left, two middle, two right. And this map, you don't need two left, two middle, two right because there's only two doors. So if you have two left and two right, and then two people floating in between to ever need help, that to me makes a little bit more sense. Especially on these small maps like Dome and Mission. And I don't know how that guy didn't die. I'm pretty sure I was shooting him in the head, but I'm not very good with AK 47. I was only using it just to get it gold because it's one of the last assault rifles that need to get gold before they're all done and dusted. But one thing that I don't understand on this map is the nature of the spawn system at times. Now we've pretty much figured out that 
if you go on the right hand side by that truck where the metal container is, it's hanging out. If you go past that where the razor wire barbed wire whatever is, then it flips the spawn and they spawn in C. But I don't know what makes them spawn in the dome behind me. Uh, there's been a few games where I've been doing well, whatnot, not far up Moabs, things like that, and they've spawned behind me when there's nobody in the spawn, um, and I'm not really sure why it does it. I'm not sure if it's stealth bombers and airstrikes and things that go straight over the top that's causing it, or whether it's if people are looking into the spawn, because that happens on mission a lot, like if everybody's looking down the dirt track and looking into the bottom of the ditch, sort of, if you will then it flips the spawn and they spawn at sea regardless of if anybody's actually in the spawn because obviously if you're looking there then they can't spawn there I mean I'm, I'm not sure if you noticed but if you're running up the dirt track on mission you can literally look at the floor then shimmy back to the left hand side and they'll spawn in the bottom right hand corner near the wall in the ditch literally in front of you ready to be killed which frankly is a pretty disgusting spawn and it's fairly disgusting that I've discovered this but it's just things that happen in Call of Duty, it's always been like this. There's nothing you can really do other than just deal with it and get on with the game. It's not going to get any better. Obviously, like the demolition spawns, now since the patch have completely changed and all of the spawns are active now. So, literally, you can spawn away from the bomb site, they can spawn at the bomb site. And obviously, that kind of defeats the objective demolition. In previous games, the idea obviously was to lock him into a spawn, push him back into a corner, and if you didn't push up any further, you could keep him there all game, which is generally the idea if you defend him. Because you don't want him to spawn a bomb, but you don't want him to get out of the spawn and overrun you and end up spawn trapping you. And I, I kind of agree with why they've done it, because it is to stop spawn trapping, because spawn trapping in Black Ops, for example, on Nuketown was absolutely disgusting. I mean, I once entered uh, a lobby we got put into, I think it was sort of a mosh pit type shenanigans thing, or it might have been Nuketown 24-7, and the game was demolition, and it was halfway through, we got put into it. Literally every time we spawn, there was somebody attacking to the next to the spawn marker, shooting us. Now, <laughs> that shouldn't happen in any game. Uh, then it should flip. But obviously, if you're just sort of pushing them to one side of the map, they shouldn't be become an active spawn inside or outside the bomb. Because it's pretty hard to get a defuse on. Obviously, it takes a few seconds to defuse the bomb. And also to kill people. So if you've got more spawning and flooding back into where the bomb is, as well as you're trying to defuse the bomb, you're going to struggle even with the best of teams, really. So I don't know if they're planning to patch that when the next patch comes out, but hopefully they will, because I think the spawns do need a little bit of tinkering, as well as the lag compensation, obviously, which everybody moans about. And I mean, spawns like that, I mean, come on, I've spawned and he's there behind me. What, what can I realistically do about that? Other than having that special imaginary perk where you have wing mirrors on the side of your head so I can see what's going off behind me, there's not a great deal I can do about that. You literally press square and die. And I'm sure you've all had spawned like that before. And I think that's what needs sorting. Relatively, they have sorted them out a lot. Granted, it's not as bad. People aren't just constantly spawning in front of you anymore or behind you. But it does still happen. And until they fix it, I don't think a lot of people will enjoy the game as much as what they should. It is a very solid game. I do enjoy it, probably not as much as Black Ops, but then again, I hated Black Ops. When that first came out, it was almost unplayable for me, just the party system and the lag and whatnot. But now, and towards the end of it, it's a very good game. I can still go back and play it now and come off having had fun on that game. But at the minute, this game, it's starting to grey, and a lot of people are calling for things to be done and I think quite rightly really if you've paid your 40 pounds a lot of people have paid 30 pounds for Call of Duty Elite and whatnot as well I think you deserve to be able to play a game and it makes a little bit of sense because in this modern era the technological age we've got Facebook and everything like that you've got to listen to communities I and mean, if you look at games like Counter-Strike I've got games as old as like Quake 3 that they're still doing patches for that developers are still listening to the community for and even Battlefield, I hate to say it, I know there's the old war Battlefield versus Call of Duty but it gets patched, things that are bad get patched and they realise that the game's bad 
and whatnot. And I don't think they quite realise how bad some of these public lobbies are getting. I mean, there's times when it is actually unplayable. If you're on a three bar connection, it's almost unplayable. You can't kill people and you can't really do anything. You just get shot around corners. People are about three seconds in front here. You just can't do anything. So until they fix it, it's not going to get any better. But all I'm doing now, I'm just ranting. It just gets me mad when I think with all the money I've paid towards it and also the maps. What the hell? We call you a PS3. We get them after everybody else. I've paid just as much as everybody else. But I'm not even going to get onto that because it's just going to get me mad. But cheers for watching, guys. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the gameplay. I quite enjoyed playing this game. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Just